Fouls in Soccer Explained. Greeting folks, today we are back with another brand new video for all the sports freaks out there. In this video, we're going to talk about all the fouls in soccer. Blatant. So next time when you're out on the field, giving out 100%, nothing comes in your way. There are two types of fouls, direct kick fouls and indirect kick fouls. Let's start with the direct kick fouls. If a foul is given to the player of one team, the opponent's team receives a direct free kick. One, if a player deliberately kicks or attempts to kick an opponent with excessive force while the game is on. Two, if a player recklessly trips or attempts to trip an opponent while playing with force. Three, charging into an opponent recklessly or excessive force will also result in a foul. Four, if a player strikes or attempts to strike an opponent with excessive force. Five, Pushing a player, including the goalkeeper, with excessive force is prohibited and results in a foul. 6. If a player jumps at an opponent, including the goalkeeper, recklessly, a foul is given. This includes jumping with a header also. 7. Blatant holding or pulling, including being reckless with the opponent's clothing. 8. Making contact with an opponent before touching the ball when tackling an opponent to gain possession of the ball. 9. If a player spits at an opponent, regardless of whether it lands on that player or not. 10. If a player deliberately handles the ball, for example, uses his hands, a foul is given. Let's talk about the second kind of fouls now. Indirect kick fouls. If a foul is given to the player of one team, the opponent's team receives an indirect free kick. There are two categories of indirect kick fouls. Let's start with the first one, which are applicable to all the players. 1. Dangerous play. If a referee decides a player is playing recklessly and could be dangerous to other players, a foul is given. 2. Impending the progress of an opponent. A player cannot use his body to impede another player's movements, even if it's not deliberate. This can be called if the foul is given when a player is not within playing distance of the ball, 3 feet, and blocks an opponent's movement or screens an opponent from the ball. 3. Preventing the goalkeeper from releasing the ball from his hands. A player who attempts to prevent the goalkeeper from putting the ball into play by standing directly in front of the goalkeeper is given this foul. The second category of foul is for the goalkeeper only. 1. If a goalkeeper keeps controlling the ball with his hands for more than 6 seconds before releasing it from his possession. 2. Touching the ball with hands after it is deliberately kicked by the goalkeeper by a teammate. 3. Touching the ball with his hands after he has received it directly on a throw-in from a teammate. 4. If a goalkeeper intentionally touches the ball with his hands after he has released it from his possession and before it has touched another player. This is it for today's video, folks. Make sure that when you're out on the field, you keep in mind these points. Happy playing. Share with us your stories in the comments down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.